good day fellow noob today we're going to talk about what you can do if your query is creating duplicates or if you notice that after expanding a step in power query additional rows are visible on the output so this is usually caused by duplicates in your data that you are unaware of so for example uh, let's say we have two sets of ranges here uh, let's say we have a larger range and then we have a smaller range now if let's say you're very familiar with VLOOKUP and let's say we're asked to get the product code from the larger range so with VLOOKUP what we would usually do is so we would use a VLOOKUP and then get the lookup value select the range and then we get the column index number and then click on zero and then we fill that down and then we would get this outcome and then so this it appears correct but if we want it if you want to be able to do this in power query for let's say for a much bigger data set so we would get a different outcome so to illustrate that let's pull this into power query all right so let me let's get this bigger range first so we have the products table here and then let's just load it as a connection for the meantime and then for the smaller set so I've already had this as a named range so all right okay so we have the product table here and then let's transfer it let's promote the headers then we'll merge the first table because we're replicating what uh, at least the equivalent of what we can do with VLOOKUP and then, so we have the product table here and then we'll expand this and we'll get the product code and we'll remove the original column and then we get this and then let's close and load this to our worksheet and then for the existing worksheet let's paste it here Alright, so if you look closely here, we have for the original, for the smaller range, we have uh, 8 rows. For this one, we have 10. So it appears that we have an extra A and B. You see here. So get, this is caused by duplicates in your data. For, so let's highlight the duplicates here for better understanding values all right so yeah from here we can see that the product a and b has duplicates but so this is easier to see since we have only a small set but uh, so imagine if you have thousands and thousands of records so this n n would be harder to figure out what the duplicates are and um, if, so if you merge this with a smaller set so yeah it would create duplicates and so that's what's causing the add expanded steps in your query now in this scenario you have to make a judgment on how you want to treat those duplicates of course this will be a case by case basis where for some scenarios maybe you're okay with having those duplicates for some maybe those duplicates are treated as errors now if if you want to treat those duplicates as errors and let's say you want to remove them as a step in power query we can do that also but we'll have to remove that on the earlier step so on the product table one we'll have the removal of the duplicates there all right so we have the table here right so I right click on here and remove duplicates and then once we go to the product table column have less of it okay so let's refresh this and so we have the same amounts here okay and that's it uh, I hope you find this useful if you have any questions feel free to enter uh, on the comments below thank you and uh, good night